nobody can force me out. I always believe that it's always um, that we should encourage younger blood in the party. The People's United Party is built on that very premise that yes, we need the young and the old. Mr. Price used to say, you know, young and old, we build Belize. And that is still uh, certainly my philosophy. Yes, so I, I, I repeat, I am not immortal, and I realize that the time will come when I will have to give way to much younger blood. And that is exactly what the 76-year-old senior politician and two-time Prime Minister of Belize, the Right Honorable Saad Wilbert Musa, is doing. He is making way for younger blood within the People's United Party. Musa's career began back in the 70s when he was in his 20s under the mentorship of the late George Cadell Price. His first run in electoral politics was in 1974 when he went up against Dean Linda in the Fort George division. He lost this round, but by 1979, he would be elected to serve his first term in Belize's House of Representatives. During this term, he not only served as the Attorney General and Minister of Economic Development, but he also contributed to the drafting of the Constitution of Belize. Five decades in politics is no easy feat, and undoubtedly, there are accomplishments he has achieved throughout his career. One of Musa's cabinet ministers during the period 1998 to 2008 was Dolores Valderamos Garcia. I go back to the time of the 1970s when Mr. Price was fight tooth and nail for our independence. Who were by his side? People like Said Musa started out as a radical, but people like Said Musa who had the vision along with Mr. Price for a better Belize. He really is the consummate people person. He was a great boss to me as prime minister when I served in his government. And if I would have one criticism of him, it would be that he is just almost too kind to people. He had the vision and the foresight to see that we needed a special envoy for children, for women, for HIV. And I was proud and honored to serve in his administration as those things. Don Hector Silva Jr. has since retired from politics, but has etched in memory the building of the People's United Party, as well as Musa's entry onto the political landscape. According to Don Hector, Musa went from a rebel to an astute leader. It is important to know that Said did not have a golden spoon in his mouth. One of the virtues that I can give to Said. I'm sorry he has you know, resigned. One of the voices Said had was this matter of listening to people. A good listener. This is a virtue that politicians must have if they want to land in politics. As consuming as his political career was and his commitment within the Fort George division, Musa still made time for family. Following in his political footsteps is his son Kareem. I have to admit that when I just came back from law school, um, it wasn't on my mind to serve politically, but he definitely influenced me to become an attorney because he showed me that you can help a lot of Belizeans get justice that way. While it is that he has never one day um, pressured or forced us or say get into politics, you just have to watch the man and you have to realize that um, the goodness that he did for all these years um, the goodwill that translated itself into benefits for me even um, while I was on the ground in Caribbean shores. I underestimated that goodwill. Musa's years in office has certainly made him many friends and foes. What they also brought were political opponents, primarily from the United Democratic Party. But Opponents aside, for many he is a respected politician, as confirmed by UDP's Foreign Minister, Wilfred Sedi Elrington. I would want to think that that's a sad day for Belize because he's very, very wise, a wise man, a man who has in fact spent a lot of his time in the service of the country and the people, very well liked in his constituency. Remember before he became Prime Minister, he was also Foreign Minister so that he was able to uh, put Belize on the international map in terms of um, representation. And um, because of his own 
intellectual capacity and knowledge and his own passion, he was able to to represent us very, very well and to gain a lot of, a lot of respect for Belize. He also, of course, would have been responsible for a lot of the relationships which we have with different countries, bilateral relationship. He was a man who established um, diplomatic relations between Belize and Taiwan. And of course, he, they would have established good relationship with the Venezuelans. He was one of the people who were pivotal in helping us to get our independence. And so, um, He's going to be greatly missed by the party and I'm sure by the country as a whole. The Right Honorable Said Musa served as the elected representative for the Fort George Division for 36 years. For many in that division, he is known as Daddy Musa. And like this voter in the area, they are grateful for his contributions. He was a great father figure, as I could say. He helped a lot of people. He was a great role model, great leader. He did a lot for this community when it comes to like sports wise, financial wise, for helping people with their utility bills and so often, you know. But otherwise from that he was a man he would uh, like, not like others, I would say he would come and actually check on his community, like take a walk in the neighborhood and actually see what someone really need or someone is like, oh he could assist them, you understand? But when it comes to Mr. Musa, I have no nothing negative to say towards him. He was a great man and I appreciate the hard work and dedication he had for us, the people in Fort George. Throughout his political career, Musa has contested 10 general elections. In the annals of Belize's history, Musa is known as the longest serving member in one electoral division to date. Reporting for Love News, I am Renee Trujillo.